Yo, what's going go on today's video. I got another subscriber requested video. This video was requested just requested by somebody in my comments. They asked me uh if I could make a shift like uh shit like uh how do I explain this? Like how some game majority of games really have it to where like to shift lock uh the key binding set to alt rather than shift like using the shift key since that's usually like the running key key or whatever and so, so i'm gonna show you how to do it it's honestly it's hella it's honestly hella simple it took me like 30 minutes to figure out stuff like that very simple so yeah i just want to remind you guys that i do have channel memberships as well as super things now enabled and stuff thanks to y'all love and support so if y'all feeling generous uh you click you can click join right under the uh right next to the subscribe button which you should definitely be subscribed for sure and stuff and yeah let me know but anyway let me get straight into the video. All right, so you pretty much want to go to starter player, right? And then go to starter player scripts and insert a local script here, right? And then here's the script. <laughs> pretty much, you're going to get the, oh, sorry. You don't need this at first. Uh, was it, it was just, just ignore it. Anyway, um, so pretty much you're going to get the mouse lock script. Obviously, the script does not exist. As you can see, it, as this is the only script I have right now, starter player script. But pretty much, if you don't know, starter player scripts, the scripts you put in here are the scripts that are going to be inside of your player when the game starts and stuff. And as you all should know, when when you start the game, there are pre, there are scripts that are made by Roblox that are obviously going to be like you know for your game. That's how like your player moves around and does all its functions and all the base stuff and, and everything, the basic stuff, right? So there's a script called mouse like scripts. You're pretty much going through. There's a player module. I'll show you guys how it looks like. But anyway. Player module, camera module, you're doing wait for child because you need to wait for all these scripts to load. Step specifications are uh, big scripts at that, and you're waiting for the, the final script, mouse lock controller. Right? And once you've done that, you're gonna wait for bound keys. Bound keys is a uh, what's it called? It is also another it is also a oh, what's it called? Bound keys is not a script, it is a uh what's it called? It's a string value, right? So this is pretty much the the bull and then the boolean, the string value that determines whether or not uh what key like it determines like it pretty much knows what key will enable shift lock or mouse lock whatever you're gonna call it right so that's why you change the value to whatever here you would put whatever you want here right uh so obviously you can put left all you can put left all and right alt or left usually it's just one key people don't usually have more than one uh so, so people usually go with left all, so you can put left all, you can put left shift. Make sure you capitalize the first letter of like each word. So capital L, capital A, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, let me show y'all. Right. So if I click play, right, y'all are gonna see what I'm talking about. Okay. So right, players, you know, player, player scripts, y'all see the script right there, right? And then remember. Player module, camera module, mouse lock controller, scroll down right here, yeah, right here. Then, bound keys, the string value, as you can see. And then you change the value right here. It's that simple. And then, now, if I click left alt, boom. Well, I mean, y'all can't, really, can't really tell, but, yeah, but you get the point. Yeah, now if I was to press stop, now watch this, right? If I disable a script, click play, here's what it would look like normally if you don't have any script that changes it, right? Go back to it, go through all the scripts. I control module camera. As you can see right here, left shift. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you want to have multiple keys here, here's how you would do it. You would just separate each word by a comma. Or each key, I should say, by a comma. That's how you would do it if you were interested in that. Because by default, if y'all didn't know, obviously, it's left shift and right shift by default. So that's the default. So, but obviously, if you change it, you can change it whatever you want. So if you wanted it to be multiple keys, uh, you just do right alt as well. Like, that's an example, right? That's simple. Um, yeah, that's simple. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. Links to join my Roblox group in Discord can be found in the description. Yeah, appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see you guys.